Injection molding produces sprues that can immediately be turned into regrind and reused. This makes sense because it saves money and protects the environment. If the initial material needs to be dried, it can save even more money as regrind does not usually need to be dried if it's being reused immediately. But what needs to be taken into consideration and is it always possible to mix in regrind? This is what today's episode of Moe's Corner TV will be looking at in more detail. There are two common methods to add regrind. The first adds the material via a material sorting gate and a hopper loader. The second adds the material via a dosing and mixing system. The variation using a material sorting gate is normally only used when there is a large permissible range for the adding of regrind and proportion of any additives being used. This two-component gate feeds the actual resource on the one side and on the other regrind from the sprue mill. Regrind can be fed back into the processing process directly and can therefore be an important component of the entire process. It's important to bear in mind that partially hydroscopic plastics are processed and if these are fed back into the processing process directly as regrind, they do not need to be dried, which saves significant amounts of energy. Adding regrind and additives via a sorting gate is very imprecise. The material enters the material hopper of the hopper loader in layers, which is why this method is only used if reliable mixing, called homogenizing of the virgin material and regrind, is not necessary. If the regrind needs to be dosed precisely and must be homogenized with the virgin material, or the adding of the regrind needs to be documented, a second method is possible, adding via a dosing and mixing system. Gravimetric systems are able to regulate and measure recipes in order to achieve precise results. An additional aspect is that many companies today use quality management systems and these quality management systems may require the different amounts of components in a product to be verified. Gravimetric systems, with their integrated scales, give us very precise possibilities to register individual amounts and display accurately whether the recipe was adhered to. The proportions of a blend can be determined exactly if all components are dosed. This is a necessity if there are only very small tolerances for the amounts of additives. It's also important to bear in mind that the regrind already contains all additives. Here's an experiment. Mo enjoys drinking apple juice mixed with sparkling water, but only when he's mixed it himself. To make it easier, he has drawn two lines on his glass. First, he fills his glass with water up to the first line, then with apple juice up to the second. When his glass is nearly empty, he repeats the process. But after a few glasses, it no longer tastes right. What happened? He realizes something. He had two jugs to refill from, one with water, one with juice. In theory, both jugs should be equally empty. But there is more water left than juice. Mo realizes his mistake. He did not consider that the little bit left in his glass each time was already mixed. This is why in future he will make the new mixture first, then add what's left from his glass. The control of the dosing unit calculated the required proportion of components and takes the regrind proportion into account. This ensures that the final product with regrind is true to recipe and has been produced as ecologically as possible.